Because of their similar size, shared upright ears, and sometimes similar coats, miniature pinchers are often mistaken for chihuahuas. But these are two very different breeds which came into existence in different locations in both time and geography. So let's check out the similarities and the differences in these two tiny dog breeds. Which do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below. You're watching Animal Facts. While these two small dog breeds are similar in size, build, and lifestyle, historically they had nothing in common other than being little dogs. The Chihuahua is an ancient breed. The most common theory is that Chihuahuas are descended from the Techichi, a companion dog favored by the Toltec civilization in Mexico, and Chihuahua-like dogs have existed in Mexico at least 1400 years before European dogs ever arrived. Although genetic evidence reveals very little pre-European genetics in modern Chihuahuas at less than 2%, suggesting that interbreeding with European dogs has left little of the original Techichi, but it does retain the original form. Even with the ancient lineage, the AKC didn't register the Chihuahua until 1904. The origins of the Minpin are up for debate, but historical documentation begins less than 200 years ago. The miniature pincher was developed in Germany for rat control. Contrary to popular belief, the Minpin is not a miniature Doberman. In fact, the miniature pincher is a much older breed and shares no lineage with the much larger Doberman. The AKC recognized the Minpin in 1929. Both breeds are part of the AKC's toy group. The Minpin and the Chi are not large dogs. The Minpin is slightly larger at 8 to 11 pounds and 10 to 12 inches tall, compared to the 3 to 6 pounds and 6 to 9 inches of the more diminutive Chihuahua. The miniature pincher is muscular and well-defined. Comparatively, chihuahuas tend to be more bony and fragile. The minpin has a wash and wear single coat of short straight hair. The chihuahua, on the other hand, can be found in a variety of coat types, including double and single coated varieties with long and short hair, which can be silky or straight. While either breed can be found in a variety of colors, the chihuahua has a much wider range of colors and coat patterns. Both the Chihuahua and Miniature Pinchers are easy to groom. These two breeds may be small in size, but neither is small in personality. The Chihuahua is often described as having a terrier-like personality. It's alert and suspicious of strangers and makes an excellent small watchdog. The Chi is a sensitive and affectionate companion dog that often bonds with one person, but if introduced correctly, it is able to make new friends, but expect them to be reserved at first. The stereotype of a mean little chi who snarls at all strangers often arises from a dog that has not been socialized. But a well-socialized chi can be a very social and friendly dog, even going so far as to eagerly greet strangers. The miniature pincher has a spirited and confident personality. The men pin is fearless and curious and wants to investigate everything. Like the Chi, the Minpin made it to our list of small watchdogs. You can check out that video in the card. The Minpin craves attention and loves to entertain. This affectionate and loving dog, much like the Chi, hates to be left alone. Neither the Chihuahua or Miniature Pincher are ideal with small children. strong family pack mentality, training a Chihuahua can be enjoyable. They are successful in several different dog sports such as agility and obedience. The Chihuahua packs a good amount of smarts in its small head, but they also have a tendency to ignore commands, so you've got to be consistent and firm with them. Because the Minpin really thinks as a king, you must be a strong pack leader with a stubborn Minpin. The Minpin can quickly get the upper hand. To successfully train a Minpin, you must establish firm leadership. They can learn, it just takes a firm, consistent trainer. The amount of energy found in an adult Chihuahua is nothing less than surprising. It's willing to play as long as you are. Chihuahuas enjoy walks, supervised romps around the yard, and retrieving toys. 
and a good game of fetch in a hallway is always a good choice. Miniature pinchers are forever on the move. This is good if you like activity and entertainment. This is bad if you already have a hectic household or like peace and quiet. This is among the most active of all breeds. Fortunately, most minpins can burn off much of their energy playing indoors and do not require wide open spaces to exercise. As much as they enjoy playing outdoors, neither breed should live outside. They aren't safe from hogs, coyotes, or other larger dogs. They're bred as companions, and the best place for a companion is with you. Chihuahuas are among the longest lived dog breeds, with average lifespans between 15 to 20 years. And while generally healthy, the Chi does have a few common health concerns to watch for. Those include collapsed trachea, heart murmurs, hydrocephalus, hypoglycemia, dislocated kneecaps, open fontanel, a condition where the soft spot in the skull remains into adulthood, pulmonic stenosis, and shivering. The lifespan of minpins is about average for a small dog breed at between 10 to 14 years. Common ailments include epilepsy, hypothyroidism, leg perthus disease, pedal relaxation, and progressive retinal atrophy. So, which of these tiny dogs do you prefer? Who won? Let us know in the comments. Not that we're taking score. Hey, thanks for hanging with us. If you want more doggy videos, you can check out more here. If you like this one, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If not, what are you waiting for? If you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, there are plenty of ways listed in the description. And as always, catch you next time.